Hi, everybody. I'm John Tarilla, one of the authors of Topology, a Categorical Approach. In this video, I'm going to talk about covering spaces, the big picture. So, uh, fix a topological space B. That's going to be the base space we're going to work with. And we have three interesting categories that we can associate to this space B. One is the space of covering spaces of B, or covers of B. The second space is set to the pi 1 of B. These are functors from the fundamental groupoid of B into the category of sets. And the third category is the set of group actions, or G sets, where G is the fundamental group of B based at some point little b. And the theorem that this entire video is about is that under some mild topological assumptions on the space B, these three categories are all equivalent. And this is a really excellent result. It's like algebraic topology par excellence. It says that everything that you wanted to know about covering spaces is encoded in one of these two equivalent algebraic categories. Uh, and typically, topological categories can be messy, their properties can be very untidy, but algebraic categories tend to be much cleaner and easier to work with, and so this theorem is really great. Let me begin to explain this equivalence between these three categories by describing how the two algebraic categories on the right are equivalent. So if you have a functor from the fundamental groupoid into the category of sets, if you pick a base point, little b, in your space, capital B, then you get a single set on which the fundamental group of capital B based at B acts. Now, the inclusion of the single point little b into the fundamental groupoid will be an equivalence of categories as long as the fundamental groupoid is connected, which is the same as saying that the space b is path connected. And that equivalence of categories induces an equivalence of categories from g sets to the category of set valued functors on the fundamental groupoid. Now, that explains why these two algebraic categories are the same. But the real key passage is from the category of covering spaces B to the category of set valued functors on the fundamental groupoid. And the reason is because this is the passage from the topology to the algebra. So to explain this passage, let me explain what the category of covers on the space B is. So the objects of covers on B are covering spaces E over B. And the morphisms, say, from a cover E over B to E prime over B is just a function from E to E prime, a continuous map that is compatible with the projections down to B. OK, now what about the other category, functor from the fundamental groupoid into set? What does one functor from the fundamental groupoid pi 1 of B into sets look like? Well, for each point B, you have to get a set, call it S sub B. And for each path from B to B prime, you have to get a function from the set SB to the set SB prime. And that function has to be independent of the choice of path within the homotopy class. And all that data is just one object in this category. What does uh, a morphism in this category look like? Well, the morphisms in set to the pi 1 B are natural transformations. So what does that look like? Well, a natural transformation from a functor f to a functor g looks like, well, f assigns sets sb to points in b, g will assign sets tb, and the natural transformation assigns a function from sb to tb for every point b in the, in the space b. Now, these functions aren't arbitrary. They have to satisfy some conditions. So uh, to every path from b to b prime, the functor f gives you a function from SB to SB prime. Actually, let's call it SA. And G assigns a function from TB to TA. And then the natural transformation assigns functions from SB to TB and SA to TA. And they have to fit into this commutative diagram. And now I have to tell you how you get 
a functor from the fundamental groupoid from a covering space. So if you have a cover E over B, to every point B, I'm going to assign a set, just the fiber over B. So this is a subset of the covering space E. And to any path from B to B prime, I need a funct function from the fiber over B to the fiber over B prime. And I'm going to define this function using the path lifting property of the covering space. So let's walk through this. If you have a point little b in the base space, then you have the fiber fb as a subset of the cover over that. If you have the point b prime, you have the fiber fb prime. And now suppose you have a path gamma from b to b prime. Well, given any initial point in the fiber over b, you can lift the path gamma to a path call it gamma tilde, starting at that initial lift in the fiber over B, that path will terminate in somewhere in the fiber over B prime, and that terminus will give me a way to assign points in the fiber over B to points in the fiber over B prime. That is, I've defined a function from FB to FB prime. And the theory of covering spaces tells me that if I choose any path homotopic to gamma, I will get the same function from FB to FB prime. So I've told you how to assign to one cover a functor of the fundamental groupoid, but this assignment has to be compatible with morphisms. So if you have a morphism, call it phi, from a cover E to a cover E prime, I need a natural transformation between the assigned functors on the fundamental groupoid. On the on the points of B, it's easy. You just restrict phi to the fiber over the point B, and you get a map from the fiber over the point B in the cover E to the fiber over the point B in the cover E prime. And you have to check that this collection of functions from the fibers in E to the fibers in E prime is equivariant with respect to paths in the base space. And this turns out to be true because if you have a path in the base space and you lift it to the cover E, if you apply phi to it, you get a path in E prime, which is a lift of that original path in B. And this concludes the, the passage from coverings on B to functors from the fundamental groupoid. So I just explained that. We already explained by choosing a base point little b how you get from functors from the fundamental groupoid to g sets where g is the fundamental group of the base at little b. So how do you get from that algebraic category of g sets, representations of the fundamental group, to covering spaces? Well, in order to need to do this, you need some assumptions on b. So one thing, B needs a universal cover, which means that B has to be locally simply connected. B also needs to be locally path connected, and it needs to be connected. So you can know everything about the covering spaces of a space B by understanding a particular category of G sets. Now, if you, you want to know about the category of G sets, you may already know it. It's an algebraic thing. I discuss this in detail in a different video. Uh, for now, what I'd like to do is just simply illuminate some of the formal consequences of the fact that the category of covering spaces is equivalent to the category of representations of the fundamental group. So to complete the picture, pick a topological space B that's path connected, locally path connected, and locally simply connected, and pick a, a point little b and let G be the fundamental group of capital B at that base point. Then to each cover, E over B, we get an action of the fundamental group of the base space on the set FB, which is the fiber over B. To describe the action of the fundamental group on this fiber, take a loop gamma based at B and pick one point in the fiber FB. Lift gamma to a path starting at the point in the fiber it ends at a new point in the fiber, and that's how the fundamental group acts on the points of the fiber. If you pick any point E in the fiber over B, the stabilizer of that point will be the fundamental group of the space capital E based at little e, 
which is mapped by the projection down to be injectively to a subgroup of the fundamental group of the base space. And so we can view it as a subgroup of the fundamental group of the base space. If the space E is connected, then the action of the fundamental group on the fiber is transitive, and that action is isomorphic to the action of the fundamental group on the set of cosets of the fundamental group of the total space viewed as a subgroup of the fundamental group of the base space. That's a really nice result that has a couple of really nice consequences. For one, if your covering space is connected, the fiber over B is isomorphic to the fiber over B prime as a set for any B and B prime in the base space. And the reason is because both, well, the cardinality of FB and the cardinality of FB prime are both equal to the index of the fundamental group of the covering space inside the fundamental group of the base space. Also from the theory of G sets, we can conclude that every cover E over B decomposes into the coproduct of connected covers over B. And this works the other way around, meaning that if you have any subgroup of the fundamental group of the base space, there exists a cover, capital E, and a point, little e, in the fiber over the base point, little b, so that the fundamental group of E at the base point, little e, is equal to that subgroup of the fundamental group. And uh, this cover will be connected and it will be unique up to isomorphism. So the objects of covering spaces correspond to subgroups of the fundamental group. And now what about morphisms? Well, every morphism F from a cover E to a cover E prime induces a map between the fiber over B in E to the fiber over B in E prime that's equivariant with respect to the action of the fundamental group. Moreover, we note that there will exist a morphism of covers from E to E prime mapping a point little e in the fiber over B in E to E prime in the fiber over B in E prime if and only if the fundamental group of E sits inside the fundamental group of E prime viewed as subgroups of the fundamental group of the base space. And the theory of G-sets also tells us what the automorphisms of a covering space are. So if you have a fixed connected cover, say E over B, the automorphisms of E over B as a covering space are isomorphic as a group to the normalizer of H modulo H, where H is the fundamental group of the cover, as a subgroup of the fundamental group of the base space. And so in particular, if the fundamental group of the covering space is a normal subgroup of the fundamental group of the base space, then the group of automorphisms of that cover are isomorphic to the quotient group G mod H, which makes sense when H is normal. And if you have any two points, E1 and E2, in the fiber over B, there will exist an automorphism F of the cover E that maps E1 to E2. In this circumstance, people say that the cover E over B is normal or regular. A special case is when the fundamental group of the covering space is trivial. We call the covering such a covering space a universal cover of the base space then its automorphism group will be isomorphic to the fundamental group of the base space which you can actually use as a tool to compute the fundamental group sometimes it's hard to compute the fundamental group but you can come up with a universal cover this is one way you can compute the fundamental group of projective space the circle so3 to name a few examples so now to finish this video, let me paint uh, a picture of the category of covering spaces of a fixed space B. Now that we know that it's equivalent as a category to the category of G sets, where G is the fundamental group of the base space, uh, we have a pretty good idea of what it looks like. So it has an initial object, which is the universal cover over B that has a trivial fundamental group and the fibers 
are isomorphic to the fundamental group of the base space. Now, for every other cover, E over B or E prime over B, you have a map from the universal cover down to those covers. And each of those covers corresponds to a subgroup of the fundamental group of the base space. And two of these covers will be isomorphic if and only if the fund their fundamental groups are conjugate as subgroups of the fundamental group of the base space. We also know what the automorphism group of any one of these covers is. So the automorphism group of a cover E over B is isomorphic to the normalizer of its fundamental group with modulo its fundamental group as a subgroup of the fundamental group of the base space. There's also a terminal object in this category that looks like the base space itself, which is a cover of the base space where the covering map is the identity map. All the other covers map to this one. And this is a pretty complete picture of the category of connected covering spaces of B it correspond to transitive group actions of the fundamental group. You can also take co-products of these covers to get other covering spaces that are not connected. And this category also has products. I think for fun, I'll leave that as something to think about. And this concludes this video. Thanks very much for your attention.